Hi everybody and welcome to Stories with Gigi. Today I'm going to read a book called The Bad Seed. How bad and naughty is this seed? Well, you're going to find out with our guest reader, my husband, also known as Grandpa. I hope you enjoy this story and please remember to like and subscribe. Let's begin. The Bad Seed, written by Jory John, illustrations by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed, a bad seed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. <laughs> I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. <laughs> I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant! I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered. Ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're used to being bad. But I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. 
But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. I sure hope you enjoyed Grandpa reading The Bad Seed. And remember to always make good choices so you don't become a bad seed. Until next time, bye!